day you start off with a media drive is always a good day and today is no exception because we're going up to Nasubu, up to Tagaytay, back to Metro Manila on an overnight trip with these beauties, the Honda HRVs. Now Vincent and I have had the opportunity to sit inside the car to see exactly how it feels but we don't know yet how it drives. Hopefully over this overnight trip we will find out exactly what these guys have under the hood and how good they feel on the road. On the drive, we're gonna go. It's uh, it's eight something o'clock. <laughs> My watch is busted, but we're roaring to get out of here. I want to get to 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 sun, more sun. There's barely any sun inside the city with a typhoon pending, but uh, we're gonna test these HRVs and see if they can withstand the ups and downs of going up the mountain. We're gonna see changing road conditions. We're gonna check out the handling and see how awesome these cars, if they truly are awesome, we're gonna find out today. Of course, I said we're gonna find out if they're awesome or not, and I'm not even gonna be driving the first leg, which it's kind of odd. But Nico is. Nico drove most of the way out of the city, which was riddled with traffic. Now that we're out of the city, it's my turn to drive the HRV. But first, a quick stopover for lunch at Casitas de Victoria. Mm. Chet, I wanted to know, does HRV stand for anything? Uh, hip and smart runabout vehicle. Really? Yeah. I thought it just meant <laughs> And it's now day two of our media drive with the HRV. So we went from Casitas de Victoria, through Calatagan, through Talisay, up to Tagaytay, which where we ended in Escala. So three things I want to be able to point out of the HRV. First is that when we were driving, three of us, I was up driving up front, Nico was sometimes in the back, sometimes up front, is that when we were taking it through the corners and doing tight turns, the body roll is pretty negligible. It was very, very well planted. The second thing I noticed is that the CVT kind of gets loud on you when you bury your foot. Going up hills is not really a problem. It might take some time to get there and to get the engine going, and it's a little bit loud, but it will definitely get there. And the third thing I want to point out is the best thing about crossovers is that you can take it out of town. Well, when you take it out of town, you want to be with friends. And when you have friends, then you need a little bit more space. Now, while most crossovers do boast about space, the HRV, has got a little bit more. And when I say a little bit more, I mean a lot more, which makes it a great car. Dying to review this guy properly. 